All right, Keith, thanks a lot. Well, if you or someone you love has ever faced a life-threatening situation, you know that there are ripple effects after traumatic experiences. People often have some very painful memories. Yeah, sometimes these memories fade, but other times they stay around. Today is set aside as PTSD Awareness Day. WCBI's Parker King joins us live in the studio to give us more information about the illness and what health communities are doing to fight it. Parker? Guys, post-traumatic stress disorder is something that affects millions of Americans. Some telltale sign symptoms of this illness may range from depression, anxiety, and super vigilance, to name a few. In the nation, up to 20% of our population, which is almost 45 million people, have or are currently struggling with PTSD. Here in the Golden Triangle, employees at the Baptist Behavioral Health Facility encourage those who experience these symptoms after an experience to speak to a doctor or psychologist. It's important to acknowledge the illness in order to receive the counseling and possibly the medication that is needed to fight this following. Following instruction from medical teams can increase the chance that everyday life can move on. Counseling, 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 counseling. That is the biggest thing. You have to address it. Now, there's different ways, and depending on the level of trauma, determines on how you address that. For some people, it is a very deep trauma, and so you want to really address the symptoms around it as opposed to the event itself. We get to see the front side, but not so much the back end. Uh, but the success is when we don't see them come back. We know that we've done our job, and they are functioning and succeeding because if they weren't, they would be back here. And in Lowndes County alone, there are nearly 10,000 veterans. With awareness being brought to people like this, attention, hopefully these PTSD statistics can go down. Andrea, Joey, back to you.